track meeting attendance from multiple committees with one single Excel template. Set up calendar year, create your members roster and start tracking meeting attendance with member statistics. Hi there and thank you for watching. If you're managing multiple committees, then this Excel template will help you with the task of taking attendance for all of your meetings. The link is provided in the description below. So I've just opened an empty template, which is one of the files you will receive with every purchase. It's fairly simple to use. The Excel file has three tabs, the setup tab, the members registry, which is basically the members roster and the attendance sheet. This is how the three tabs look like. Before we start entering any data, don't worry about the not applicable cells here. This is because we still haven't set up our calendar year. So the first thing we need to do is start from the setup committees tab. This is where we will set up our calendar year and uh, we can add up to 20 different uh, meeting committees. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, start with January 2024 all the way to December 2024. And let's give some uh, names to our uh, committees. Committee one, and uh, I will just copy this down up to 10 committees, we can have up to 20. The third column here, the description notes column, is for you to enter any type of description you want, just to help you identify what each committee is about. So now that we've set up our calendar year, our uh, starting month and the ending month, uh, quickly have a look at the attendance sheet. It's currently the left uh, columns are currently empty because we haven't registered any members yet. But we can see that our calendar is uh, fully loaded beginning from uh, January 1st, which was our starting month, all the way to December. And uh, as a note, the current date today, it's an easy way for you to find the current date, is highlighted with a blue color. So the next thing we need to do is jump over to our members registry tab. This is our members roster. We will start entering names of our uh, uh, meeting uh, members. I will just go ahead and say name one, name two, name three. Each one of these people belong to one of the committees we've uh, have already set up. So let's say name one belongs to committee one, uh, committee two, and committee three. If the same person, let's say a person with a name one belongs to multiple committees, we just have to enter his or her, na her name again and uh, select the different committee where they belong to. Name four, name five. You can add as many members as you want. Uh, let's select a couple of committee two and a couple for committee one. Some for committee six. These are completely random. Complete committee eight. and so on. The table will auto expand as soon as you start typing uh, names in the rows below. So again, if a single member belongs to multiple committees, all we have to do is re-enter uh, the name of uh, the specific number and uh, assign uh, the same name to different committees. For instance, name 21 belongs to committee 2 belongs to committee three and to committee six. The remaining of the three columns are basic information for each member, the title or position uh, for each member, a phone number and an email in case we need to get in touch. And now we jump onto our 
members attendance uh, tab you see that all the members that we have already registered you know, automatically appear in the list in the middle here we have statistics for each member and we have our calendar a full year calendar from the middle and towards the right you can scroll all the way to the last month of your year so let's start to track some attendance we can filter the committee column to show just one committee let's say committee two so we only see the members which belong to committee two and let's move on to today's date for the sake of this example let's say there is a meeting today and all we have to do in the for each uh, for each member in the date column we can enter the letter p for present or we can assign the letter a for absent or the letter u for unexcused absence the three letters are shown uh, here for reference there are three letters three options we can enter in each uh, attendance cell p for present a for absent and u for unexcused once we start entering uh, attendance for meetings we have our uh, statistics they start uh, showing total sessions one committee two had one session each member we see how many times they were present and how many times they were uh, absent with a total percentage of absence for instance name one there was one session absent once hundred percent absence if we enter uh, one more meeting you will see that the statistics automatically update and this is how easy it is to track attendance for each meeting uh, let's remove the filter show all the committees and do one more example this time with committee one so we have the members that belong to committee one um, on the 10th of January there was a meeting and they were all present and then there was another meeting next uh, following week present absent absent and unexcused one last thing first remove the filtering from the committees we can apply filters for our members as well for instance if we want to see only name one our member name one we can see that name one belongs in two committees and we have the statistics for each committee here as well to summarize set up your calendar year starting month ending month and the year enter the name for the committees uh, you are managing fill out the members registry table name and the committee they belong to if the same person belongs in uh, two or three committees just enter the same name again and uh, assign a different committee and in the attendance uh, sheet just under the specific meeting days use the letters p a and u to track attendance for each member you can filter the list by member name or committee make it easier to track attendance or uh, register attendance for every meeting thank you for watching